historical and starkly emotional. That's how judges described this image taken by the Reuters photographer Arco Data when they named him winner of the 2004 Press Photo Award. His iconic picture captures the human suffering of the Asian tsunami last December. A woman mourning her relative killed by the giant waves in Kudalore in India. Well, Arco has spent years behind the lens covering stories in Iraq, Afghanistan and Kashmir. And he joins me now to discuss his life and career as a photojournalist. Arco, thank you for coming in. Congratulations, first of all. Were you surprised to win this award? Uh, to say surprise would be an understatement. I really didn't expect it. I was quite numbed when I got to know about it. Now we can see the image. What mm. lies behind it? Well, this is a very sp uh, spontaneous picture. Um, it was in the first couple of days of the disaster. And I was just going from one uh, fishing hamlet to another fishing hamlet on the coast where the tsunami had struck. And I didn't know what to expect. So I just, uh, just traveling, just and where I would see a crowd of people, I would just stop and see what's happening. And this was of the coast on the shores of a bay which is coming into a, a river, a village. And uh, I just stood and waited, I just got down there. And the moment I got down there, they were bringing in a, in a body. And there were onlookers, rescue workers, and I guess there was some family members. So when they saw this body, they recognized the body. And they came rushing towards, uh, to, towards the person that kept the body down on the ground. Uh, there was a man belonging to the same family and he just broke down, he couldn't even cry, he was so shocked. And you can see her, she also just broke down and, and uh, it was quite grim there. No one was talking much, I wasn't talking, I just took these pictures. That's it. And it's obviously it's very sensitively framed because we see the woman but we just see the hint mm -hmm. of the body, the arm and the hand here. Why did you frame it like that? It's because uh, um, you know, no one would like to get up in the morning and see a body picture. And the purpose is not to show the body, it was quite distorted. And if I show that body, people's attention will go there, not to the grief. We, we can't relate to dead bodies. Uh, we can relate to the grief of the survivors. And that's what I wanted to uh, show. But I had to have the hand just to put it in context of the picture. It's quite detached. You are very much standing over this woman. Did you feel detached or engaged at that moment? Both. Just both. I was getting uh, uh, kind of emotionally uh, uh, relating to subjects. I was getting attached. Uh, I was trying not to because they're two different things. I mean, they are so emotional out there. You know, you can't but help but relate to what's happening and on the, on the other hand if you're going to take a picture and then send them and write your captions it's a very uh, uh, kind of a rational uh, activity uh, you know you've got to be stable you can't be emotional so you're trying to balance out between both the feelings and it's difficult so some of these images are very graphic some of it must have been very difficult to deal with how Absolutely. do you deal with scenes like this psychologically when you take your last picture at night and then you go back. How do you yeah, deal with it? It's, it's very difficult sometimes. Some, some situations you don't relate so much, but some situations you just, it's like out of your family, your own family member out there. Can, and there are times I had just been staring at what's happening, visualizing myself in the place of some of the survivors, and I had to really tell, tell myself, you know, Arko, come out of it, you gotta take these pictures. And then I was working in a trance. I was not thinking about anything. I'm not thinking about the play, newspapers, publications, nothing. I was just working in a trance. And, uh, and yet those are the moments that professionally you have to be at your absolute best. Absolutely right. And that's difficult. You, know, you can't have any productive, creative, uh, productive uh, output, anything meaningful, if you are emotional. You know? And you have to be, try not to be. And so when you work in the daytime, okay, you're just working, the, you know, like I said, in a trance. But when you go back to finish your work, it all comes back to you. It just... A lot of photographers don't talk about taking pictures. They talk about making pictures because they're aware of mm -hmm. being almost like vultures, taking something from these people. Did you feel you were intruding, that you were taking yes. here? I do feel sometimes. And... Uh, when I do my work, I try to reason my, uh, to myself that I am doing something very meaningful. I might be intruding on the privacy, but I'm bringing this whole 
disaster to the people and I'm playing my role uh, you know in what way we can help well Arco they say every picture tells a thousand words your pictures tell a thousand words and much more than that congratulations thank to you. you and thank you again thank you thank you very much well that's all for this edition of international correspondence tune in again next time for another look at how the media are handling the big issues I'm Bill Neely